Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Will Boot Camp closing session. Hi, team. Shishir Gulshan. Hello, Mani. Hi, Narayan. Good morning, sir. Hi, good morning. So today, before we close uh, the session, I talk about a little bit of finances and will. I want to know how has the boot camp been for each of you? What changes are you able to notice? Uh, and uh, anything else that you would like to share? Narayan, would you like to go first? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, you are. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, the boot camp for me has been wonderful. When was, I have actually started doing a lot of things which I did not used to do. Uh, my sleep timings have changed. I am actually working on myself also. And more like... Mm, some things are still to be taken care of, which I am actually doing with the help of my mom. And uh, the rest of the things, like personal changes are there. Uh, other than that, there is a lot of changes in the business also. Mm. Many meetings which were postponed and I did not want to go, go through them have been taken care of. This will boot camp has helped me a lot. I am planning to do another boot camp very soon because I need to uh, work on my finances and my personal health. So I would love to do another boot camp for that. Yes, that's it, sir. As of now, super. Thank you so much, Mani. How has it been for you? If you could share uh, what changes you're seeing, what what is uh, different now? Uh, yeah, Captain. Good morning. Uh, hope I'm audible. Hello, uh, Captain. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Actually, I'm traveling, so. Uh, oh, okay. You can. Sorry, sorry for the noise from my end. No okay, problem. Something no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. This is good. Camp is going good for me. Um. Even though I'm not able to uh, do the other tasks, I'm 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 um. Uh, good at doing the gatekeeper and my uh, personal and professional uh, goals so i'm marching towards my professional goal so uh, i hope uh, i have a few more months left out so i'll be able to complete that uh, captain Super. Yeah. Uh, is there other things that, yeah in personal yeah. both uh, professionally what changes are you seeing personal life what changes you're seeing when you become more consistent and focused yeah, I'm, I'm more consistent towards my uh, professional goal uh, rather than my personal because I'm, I'm giving a uh, bit least importance for my personal goal. Uh, yeah. But but professional goal is what I'm, I'm looking into. Uh, that was the main intention of joining this uh, boot camp. So that, that is going good, uh, uh, Captain. So oh. um, the one-to-one -one that I, I had with you, uh, that has really enlightened me uh, a lot of things. So uh, uh, that that is a big big start for me, and and I'm marching towards my goal. I hope I'll, I'll be able to uh, complete my goal uh, in in a uh, maybe in a couple of months. Yeah, sure. Super, super. Uh, Shishir, it uh, how was it for you? Uh, yeah. Uh... My uh, as my gatekeeper tasks uh, went on uh, since uh, day one. Uh, I felt a lot of uh, changes by the uh, end of, I think, uh, day seven. I was starting to notice uh, noticeable changes. Uh, I was uh, able to uh, wake up uh, at, a, at a reasonable time and uh, uh, to do my gatekeeper uh, tasks. And uh, if I was uh, not able to sometimes uh, do it in the morning, then I would somehow push myself to do it in the evening while I was seeing uh, others also complete their uh, gatekeeper tasks. So that kept, kept me in uh, check of uh, uh, my uh, consistency. So that, uh, that was how uh, my experience was. Super, superb. Thank you, Sushir. Yeah. And Gulshan, how's it for you? You're doing it this uh, third or fourth time, third time, I think, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I've done it twice. Uh, it's going good, actually. Seeing noticeable uh, things happening around me. So yeah, overall, it's quite a good experience. Happen. Super. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll be using this part of our testimonials. I hope it's okay with y'all uh, to share with other newbies who don't know about our program to see what uh, or how it helps. So let's continue. I'll be uh, sharing my screen. Um, okay, finances and our will are very much connected, right? In general, one of the goals of the bootcamp was to distinguish the voices, right? And it will confuse you. It's ongoing con constantly. You have to practice it. The twin voices, the soul voice, that is your true voice, the spiritual person that is inside you, living inside this body, and the body's voice. Right? The slave voice, the body's voice, which is your external. We have all taken birth in this body, the body that you have. And it has come with some spirit, some intent to experience life, to do some work. Otherwise, we could have all been floating around as spirits somewhere. But we have taken birth in a body. That means we want to immerse ourselves, experience ourselves, enjoy the life, experience new things impact someone's life, do something for the world before we end our body's uh, you know, life. So this will is nothing but to gain mastery of our spiritual self over this physical body that we have. Not just, when I say physical, it also means our emotions, intellect and all of that, right? Which is very unique to us in this life. So that mastery is the mastery of will. The ultimate goal, of course, at this level, you are looking at simple goals like, okay, habits, you know, success uh, or financial success or other, you know, relationship success. But the ultimate mastery is when you become complete master of your body, right? That means you are able to direct it you're thinking and you're getting it done, almost willing it. If you think it is done, you know, there is no question of not happening, right? And that is the ultimate master. It could be an injury. You're healing it because your body is listening to you. Your body is just uh, a slave to your spiritual side, right? So that is the ultimate mastery. And that mastery, when you keep working on your will, it will bring you a lot of satisfaction because when we have gained that mastery, it's a deeper satisfaction. It's not like your dopamine kick. It's it's much more deeper satisfaction. One, you have to enjoy yourself. Just like these 21 days, you will feel a certain satisfaction that comes from having achieved some things in your life. Or it could be as, as simple as the gatekeeper task to as more complex as your professional goal, business goal, or personal goal, or something like that. So this mastery is what the will means, you no know, mastery of spiritual side over your body. And once you become that master, there is nothing that you cannot achieve. Okay, you can just will it in your mind. And of course, you'll not be just thinking about it, but you will act and get it done. And it is done thing. So coming to this voice now. Okay, so the forces are going to stop you from gaining this master. It's not going to be a cakewalk that uh, you want it, so you will get it on a platter, right? So it's not going to be easy, but it is not impossible. It is not impossible. Little difficult, but if you practice and if you keep working on yourself, You can gain this mastery. It will become easy to become a master of your will, which in turn means master of your life. And that is when you become a creator of your destiny. You can create wealth. If you say, I want to start this business, run it like this, you will start creating that. You want to run 
great relationships, you know, you will not have uh, problems in your relationship because now you're master, you're not listening to tantrums and pandering and uh, other things. Your boundaries are clear, like what I spoke in the authentic uh, self. You know, your boundaries are clear. You will respect yourself, respect others, not infringe their boundaries, not let them infringe yours. So that is the mastery of will. And similarly, your habits and all those other things become easier. So what are these blocks that will come that is not that's going to make it tough, right? So we are, the body, like I told you, does not want to pursue any big purpose. It just wants to pursue pleasure, right? Doesn't like purpose, rather wants pleasure. Okay, so there, so we are, the body wants to be lazy. Just if you give a chance, right? If I also tell, give my chance, it, it will want to be lazy. That's what it means, right? Does not, does not mean we should not take rest. Does not mean we should not enjoy life. Does not mean we should have fun, pleasurable things. Obviously, we need to have, we need to treat our body well, but not so much that we are only in the pleasure world, hardly in the purpose world. Right. And not so much that the body has become the master over your spiritual side, the spirit that resides, right, which has got a desire, which wants to achieve, which wants to make some money because you want to give good things for your family. You want to enjoy. You want to do so many other things. Right. Why not? But that side of it gets submerged with other distractions, the pleasure, the distractions. Today, uh, you have digital distraction, which is added. Uh, to the complexities, normally only the human body distracts easily. Now you add this extra masala of digital media and social media and gadgets, it takes it to the next level of distraction. So becoming aware. So the body is inherently lazy. So we need to understand it is lazy by default setting. So you need to overcome. That is why success doesn't come to everyone. Only Top 10% will achieve any meaningful uh, success. And in that top 1% will be truly and you know, massively successful because it takes that mastery of your will, right? So becoming that 1% in your profession, business, you know, musician, artist, sportsman does not even matter. Striving for that to see what is possible for you to achieve in this lifetime using this body should be your purpose whatever it may like i said you want to be a musician you want to be a swimmer uh, you want to do this business what is the highest i can achieve not for money even if you get enough money and you have it i'm happy fair enough but i want to see what is the highest i can push this body and achieve in this lifetime so that is the mastery that is the purpose right and uh, using your talents connections all of us are born in different environment different generations different uh, you know, families which have got different strengths, some like maybe born in a musician family, sports family, business family, uh, you know, or uh, so maybe, uh, you know, armed forces family here and there, doctor's family. Something will stir or the neighbors could be very influencing, countries could be different. So all those factors will change your purpose. So finding that and seeing what is the best life you can lead for yourself, highest quality, good life in your control uh, for your best health, living the life where you have great connections, meaningful life and earning well and pushing your worldly goals as well, right? So to see, hey, this is what I can. Think of uh, Emperor Ashoka. Emperor Ashoka, when he earned, I mean, his territory, territory was the uh, older uh, claim of uh, uh, wealth, right? He fought battles, he won all those battles there. And at the end, he said, I want to sacrifice all this, right? Because he had earned, he had pushed himself to see what is possible for him. And he had achieved that top 1%. And then he said, I'm going to sacrifice this, right? So today, many times, people, so he achieved one mountain, two mountains, and he reached the peak and he said, I'm going to sacrifice all of this. And then he left all this and became a monk, or at least he gave it off and things like that. Today, many times when I speak to people, they tell me, 
I want to sacrifice. I don't want all these desires. I don't want to pursue anything big. I tell them, you can only sacrifice at the top. You should become something. You should uh, earn a lot of money. You should have achieved the top uh, position in your profession or something like that. I think uh, the... Can you all mute it? Uh, uh, Shishir, can you please check the mutes and mute the thing, please? Yeah. So, um, the... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. For the success, people, I keep telling you, like the Ashoka's example that I gave, that he reached the pinnacle, Emperor Ashoka, and he said, I want to sacrifice. So sometimes when I speak to people today, they tell me I want to sacrifice. I don't want to live. I don't want all this desire. I said, desire by itself is not bad. Okay. It is for what reason you're acquiring, you know, and pursuing that wholeheartedly mastering of this body is good because you're pushing yourself. And many times they, they want to sacrifice at a very young age when they haven't achieved much in life. So I always tell them your sacrifice is meaningful at the top. You, you're the top, top pole position in your career, pole position in your business. You've done everything you could have acquired and you reach the best of best top. And there your sacrifice makes sense. When you have nothing to achieve, nothing to showcase, your sacrifice is meaningless. That means you have not pushed your body to the best it could achieve. You're not the Sachin Tendulkar of your industry. You're not, uh, you know, Zakir Hussain of the uh, tabla musicians, right? So unless you're at the top, it's, it's no point sacrifice. You have to become top. You have to be the Serena Williams. You have to be Michael, you know, the Phelps of swimming. And then sacrificing, saying, I no, no longer want to do this, means, yes, I push my body. I am at the top now. I'm sacrificing. I want to do something else. So their sacrifice has got some value. So if you're sacrificing too early, the question you've asked is, is it because your body is coming up with all these excuses to not go push you to the top? Because it is going to be ups and downs. It's not going to be, like I said, a cakewalk. And... Um, so the body will say, Are, leave it, enjoy life. It's not about chasing all these things. It's not about this. Become, you know, almost like a monk. No, reach the highest. And after that, go ahead and become a monk. Right? Highest potential that your body can achieve is what you should be exploring. What can I do? Why, why have this body? Why can't I just float around as a spirit? Right? So... So that should be the goal of the uh, the human uh, purpose. So coming to that, I spoke about laziness. Talk of, I spoke about lazy. There are three types of lazy which happens. And one is in the body, the physical body. Okay, they're physically lazy. You know, like, oh, I have to get up morning six o'clock. I have to do this, I have to do that. It happens all the time. Right, I am no exception. Happens to me. It's just that I have learned and gained mastery of overcoming that. It's less the time between my voice telling me this and me acting is very small. Otherwise, it affects me. And um, the other kind of laziness is, let me say, uh, let me write it in a different way. Lazy to do, right? Lazy to do things. Oh, I have to uh, go there, clean this, do that, get the car repaired, buy insurance, whatever, lazy to do. Then it is lazy to express. Lazy to express. We are like, okay, well, no, I have to have this conversation with the client, with my boss, colleague, team, family member, spouse, partner, girlfriend, boyfriend. Lazy to express. Lazy to have those difficult conversations, right? So that is also a form of laziness. Not lazy to maybe showcase your talent, go and play, perform somewhere, have a public speaking, go and perform music, singing. All these are lazy to express it, resist. And then you have lazy to think. 
okay lazy to think organize this plan this make a business plan uh, make a professional growth plan we are lazy to think right so when we overcome this laziness in all these three forms right this is in the body this is in the heart and this is in the uh, head okay head heart and hands you can also call it hands so when we overcome this head heart and hands and become masters of this head heart and hands then the will also becomes stronger and for finance goals the first thing is to do is mastery of the lazy to do right to start acting in a physical thing we have to take control before we start taking control of our head the hand should be in control right you're doing your gatekeeper task because of that then you have the lazy to express yourself right we have to send overcome the second part which is through the bravery task which you may have started to do if you haven't started then please do start for the next one right the next boot camp and focus on that if that is a challenge you know become in that okay and the third is the lazy to think right your planning journaling all that are lazy to think we are like okay just leave it i'll think about it in my head that's good enough it's equal to journaling or some some excuse will come lazy to think lazy to plan planning your day you know creating that journal how to how to map your day focus so financial success is comes from when you overcome the lazy to think of course it also has the other two but if you have to go at the leadership level right especially if you're at a leadership level and you are directing your business right you have to think you have to plan what should i do next what's the next one year plan and what should i how should i strategize what should i hire blah 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 all those things are very important so it's lazy to think right and uh, overcoming that lazy to think so create so that means becoming aware oh my god why am i not doing this i'm somewhere resisting making a plan i'm somewhere resisting to uh, account uh, do the account somewhere i'm resisting to do something else related to your business identify identify three things that you may be lazy in your finances right or resisting even if you don't want to use lazy resisting to do related to your finance because it involves thought and you want to avoid it okay so write it in the chat box what is it if at all you have some form of resistance for finances something to do to with thinking about your business about your professional growth you just don't want to think about it anymore because you're tired you did so much of work what are maybe the reason what are the three things that you should be doing which can help you grow your finances but you are not doing right now what are those three things if you can put it in the chat box what three things it could be learning something some financial knowledge stuff some or it could be planning your finances could be accounts right uh, especially year end when you have to plan some financial you know returns what what are you resisting or what is it that you need to be doing but you are not doing right now you are saying planning well action to thought applies here being consistent absolutely you know so becoming consistent and uh planning your year you know what is it that you want to goal to achieve it has to be something reasonable but not so low not so high reasonable good enough that it it pushes you out of bed pushes you out to achieve makes you excited but not so big that you feel dejected too easily right and at the same time not too easy that you know for sure you will achieve that keep some financial goals like that that you can achieve it could be from your work could be something your coaching could be something you're selling some product service you're working in some company and you want to grow there to the next level next position uh, so all those things what is it that you need to be learning to upskill yourself in the organization you're working right so those will help you increase your income it's not going to happen just like that unless you buy a lottery ticket or something it's could happen even for lottery ticket you have to go and take action consistently you have to buy even people who win lottery if you speak to them they will say consistently they have been buying week on week lottery and one lottery hit them right even their consistency happens it doesn't just come like that so 
consistently create what are the three things that is you should be doing but you're not and what one thing you need to do for increasing your finances right one you could be doing what is called saving you already have assets you have some income money coming in what is it that you must be saving so you can increase something but saving does not mean you stifle yourself it does not mean taking away those pleasures does not mean uh, becoming a martyr sacrificing self sacrificing saving does not mean you don't uh, invest in yourself in your growth your professional growth personal growth anything which can help you the question you should be asking is will this help me go to my next level right and that is what you should be doing the second thing is increasing your income okay second line of income third line of income or increasing your primary income so what should i do what talent should i in where you know learn from so those are the things okay narayan has shared something follow up okay absolutely follow ups half the business they say is in follow ups service issues working on myself for regular orders in the business super thanks for sharing narayan so you know what to do you need to stay consistent in that and continue to work so finance comes down to that putting our thought on to paper right so today's exercise that you can do is write a plan don't write like a, you know detail plan just write an overview plan okay overview plan on your savings okay like i said savings is not cutting yourself from pleasure investing in yourself and all that saving means you're splurging money where you're not supposed to doesn't mean you should not buy new clothes but you're buying beyond your needs beyond something else that your income is providing then either you save 2 3 months income and buy something really really expensive or buy something that your save your income is allowing you to right becoming mindful at least and saving something at least 10% into some other assets making sure it's regularly saving either daily weekly monthly monthly for sure some part of your income is going into some savings plan right something whether what it is and if you want to know more about it join some financial literacy classes there are so many out there today go there invest learn about it and invest in that take that effort right and be consistent about it the second thing is your income think about how you can increase your income between 10 to 100% right don't be in the same thing even 1% i would say you're a winner but increase your income increase your income showcase it in your performance showcase it in your ability not to be a lazy thinker uh, showcase in your ability that you're you're no longer you're taking action in expressing action in doing and action in thinking working indra says working on needs and not wants okay thanks for sharing indra lovely and working on your uh, needs yeah more than wants fair enough and uh, creating your own plan for the next one year right write down a plan write down uh, uh what i call a vision right a vision script that means write down what is it that your life will be different one year from now so this is the activity after the end it will take you at least one 20 minutes 25 minutes take your time write down the vision script what kind of life you would be leading one year from now right and that will help you uh, start seeing yourself and working towards it not just in finances but as a person in your health in your relationships in your wealth what kind of person what kind of friends you'll be hanging out with what kind of money you'll be having in your bank account what kind of uh, work and performance you will be performing how will it be how will you be your health be so write down this as a vision script so this would be what i wanted to share about the finances and uh,
today is also the last session. So stay part of the bootcamp till the end. And if you have any questions, you can post it on that. Just like this bootcamp was to give you an experience of how mastery of will for one month can get you sorted in so many things. Okay. It can also make you confident, sometimes overconfident. Okay. Because small success can make us this. Becoming confident is very good. Okay. But continue to practice on yourself. Don't let this overconfidence. After some time, whenever a good thing happens, it will have a residual effect. For some time, it will go on and then it will come back. Right? You have to keep the momentum going. Keep the momentum going. Keep working on yourself. Right? So, keep that in mind. My team will also connect with you later, maybe tomorrow, not tomorrow, on uh, Monday. And they will reach out to you, renew your will boot camp so you can continue to work on yourself okay my advice is because from april we are having a new pricing my advice is take the one year plan okay, invest in the one year plan and this will help you keep to keep working on yourself okay the, it, the money that you're going to invest in one year plan probably you'll make 10 100 times that amount if you are someone who has got a purpose, who has got a dream. I cannot give you a dream, but if you come with a dream, whether it's a health dream, financial dream, or any other dream for your own authenticity and confidence, then this investment that you're doing will look like small change. Okay? So take up this so you can stay in my circle of influence Then I can help you, you know, constantly, not just motivate you, but also to give you results that you can see for yourself. If you felt that you saw results in this one month, then be in this one-year program. Okay, Attend as many of these boot camps anytime you feel a little lull. Be with me in my main program where you can constantly work on yourself. Right, Constantly work. And that's the only way I can help you. And uh, my team can help you and we can keep seeing what you're doing keep pushing a little, little. And little, little, if you're going, this investment that you're doing will be a small change. Narayan say, request to do follow-up uh, on uh, Tuesday, Mondays. Ah, thank you, uh, Narayan. Thanks for reminding us. Forgotten about Holly. Yes, we will call you after Tuesday, Wednesday, probably. Uh, probably Wednesday, not even Tuesday. And um, uh, then we'll connect on that. Right? So take up the one-year plan. And uh, stay part of my circle so I can continue to help you. Because once you move away, then I have no way of helping you. Right? I have no way. We are going to be busy with whoever are, who have signed up for our programs. We're helping them. And we just forget our older clients because there are so many people we need to help. Right? But staying in the circle, they say the five people you spend most time with can be your your. Uh, factor which can decide your success, the five people. So if you keep interacting with us who are constantly here to help you, you have one friend already with you to help you. All you need to make sure is another four friends, you get the right people around you, right? And then success is yours. So keep us as part of one of your five friends and so we can continue to help you go to the next level. We have two, three new people I think who have joined. Hello, Savita. Others have already shared. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Savita. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Savita. How has the boot camp been and um, uh, what changes are you seeing personally or professionally? It's very good, sir. Now, for one minute, you told me, you told me that for one minute, you go for work like that. But um, consistently, I am doing it for 15 to 30 minutes. It's yeah. going on good. And then some work I have to be, uh, I have a delay in uh, doing some work. That means I used to pend, pending, keep pending on the boards. 
that i am doing it small small works only household works to keep the clothes cleanly and to get ready for office and the, all that was going so late and that i am doing it right on time superb superb how are you feeling because of doing your work like this it's very relaxing and peace of mind will be there while watering the plants it's uh, also growing faster <laughs> how do you it's, feel about being consistent in your work now how is the feeling of being consistent it's very relaxing and so happy mood will be there all over the day like mm. that it will be there and i will be uh, friendly with all the people okay i can talk easily not with arrogant like that if uh, i get late to office means i will get arrogant to so many so many uh, works were pending Yeah. Uh, doing all that, I will get frustrated like that. Yes, I am feeling so happy and relaxing. Super, really happy to hear. Because yes, one of the things that I've realized was when we do our work well and we are able to control uh-huh. our body, the joy of yes, controlling the body is yes, a, a nasha yes. by itself, right? Yeah, yeah. Almost sir. like that feeling nobody can replace. Only you can enjoy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This board camp helped me so much. I can hear our my inner mind, not on the, my outer mind. It's mm. very lazy, and it will push us to become lazy. Mm. But I can hold uh, uh, that. I can hear that inner mind, and that my I can get control of my body. Super. Like yes, yes. See, this board camp helped me a lot, sir. Thank you very much, Super. sir. so continue doing this avita for one year you will start seeing the uh, mastery that you will gain on your body is next level yes sir okay, okay one sir. month you saw this then you have to take my word that one year is a game changer you will start yes. seeing the way you carry yourself at work at home in your whatever goals you set is going to yes. be completely different you will be what i say top performer high performer top 10 Ten percent of the people in this world you will become. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Sir. Welcome. Uh, yeah, Indra. Anything that you would like to share? What uh, changes you are seeing? I know you've done it many times before, but what changes are you still seeing? Good morning. Good morning. It change changes like I've be I feel I've become more consistent with my work. Whatever I give. plan out like previous night i decide i have to do this 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 so i get up and i start working on that and i've become consistent in so many things like i've started going for regular walks in the morning which i had stopped for nearly 6 7 months so that's helping me a lot like the afternoon i used to get uh, cramps you know in my calves when i used to lie down for half an hour after lunch so i used to have that terrible pain and uh, you know cramps in the calves so now after starting my regular walks i find that that pain and cramp is not there okay. when i take rest in the afternoon i normally like to be keep myself busy whole day you know like something or the other kitchen work or some organizing the wardrobe the kitchen the grocery shelves like that you know whole day i try to keep myself busy or then i love reading books also so in between whenever i get a, get time i get hold of my books and i read and i like to write also so all that i am doing regularly now how's your yoga that you said you had yeah. um... <laughs> yoga yoga also i do okay uh i try to stick to the 6:30 am uh, session but mm-hmm. sometimes if i back late from my walk then uh, i join the 7:30 have you become more consistent yeah 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 definitely super super at least four days a week i'm surely doing it mm-hmm. and uh, other two days also like if i'm not uh, attending the full session i make it a point to uh, do at least 10 15 minutes with them 
like nzd i follow the nzd here you know yoga day but nahi chalega i have to do something so Absolutely. if i cannot be with them for the full session i am at least with them for 10 20 minutes super super absolutely absolutely brilliant thank you for sharing thank you so much for all the guidance i have been getting from you since years because i've done your boot camp i okay. think in 22 2020 i think it was uh, uh, so uh, yeah so those those things are still there so i try to follow them regularly in my life superb superb it will be a game changer like i said once we gain mastery that joy of mastery of our body is completely yeah. different absolutely different yeah. yeah thank you so much welcome neelakshi anything from you if you would like to share uh yes sir i've been more productive at work okay. since this is my no boot out camp month okay so i'm not the first time boot out this boot month okay. yes so i'm very happy about that okay. and i've been more productive more sincere towards my priorities at home at work so i'm very happy about that yeah any moments that you can share from your house from your work that has uh, yeah very- at house like uh, i am very like lazy to do house chores but uh, i picked up like cleaning the vessel so i do i'm like uh, do it very patiently and uh, like everyone's shocked about that because <laughs> i picked it out out of uh, nobody telling me so it was nice how does it make you feel it makes me feel very energized and very happy that i accomplished something like even if it's like not so big very small but it's like after you finish something it makes you feel that energetic feel like oh okay i did it like that so mm-hmm. i feel very happy over that yeah because the feeling thank you for sharing nilakshi thank you the feeling of winning our day with the gatekeeper will set the tone of winning spirit for the rest of your day because a small win suddenly triggers that i can win everything in life right that's why it's so powerful when you're doing it with us you find everybody else doing struggling nobody is perfect we are all struggling doing it and you are also doing struggling you start seeing oh my god i'm with champions and i want to win every day so right that's the feeling and that when you there is no stopping what you can do with life so superb thank you for taking time out each time you come to the session you have overcome all the voices that could have stopped you from joining and you have taken up and coming here okay so thank you so much and i hope to see you in the long format our one year formats you know be part of these boot camps so you can continuously work and i can continuously be that friend that one of the top 5 friends who can be a game changer in your life and continue to push you forward okay superb thank you so much for your time and my team will also reach out to you for anything else maybe some google review testimonials so please do share a few lines it helps us reach many more people thank you everyone thank you savita thank you very much thank you everybody have a great weekend bye bye